Okay guys, so we did a arm warm up with the bands on our arms. Then we did leg ab warm up with bands on my legs. On the eighth cycle, pop the bands off, pop it off. Now I wanna focus on overhead pressing. Okay, so overhead pressing is very complex. There's a lot going on here. So don't try this at home unless you're an experienced lifter, you know what you're doing. If you're not, lightweight, just move in. That's all you need to do, okay? But for those of you who really want to feel those shoulders fired up, here we go. All right, so up first, we have 45 plates on the bar, okay? I need that bar out of that cage because I'm too tall, I can't press up, this gets in the way. The only drawback of this thing that I have is that I can't stand in the cage, press up. I need one that's a little bit taller, but I only have eight foot ceilings and I can already touch this. So anyways, we need to take that, put it down, move it around. There's two ways to do it. There's the lazy man way where you just clean it, push it down, put it around, put it up, clean it, which tore my shoulder up one time, bad idea. Or the smart man way where you take the plates off, move the bar, do everything that, like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Ready? Switch the bar. So that bar, right here. Okay, that's one way to do it. All right, so we've got 135 on the bar. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a heavy and heavy, a heavy isometric overhead hold. I'm gonna try to aim for about 15, 20 seconds. I'm counting in my head, so it's probably not a legit 15, 20 seconds. I still got the bands on my legs, so I'm still kind of ready to get going here. All right, so heavy isometric press. Then I'm gonna grab those 30s and just kind of rep out about 10. So I'm really firing up those motor units with that heavy isometric, followed up some pressing, a couple other exercises in between, just to keep my heart rate doing this. And then we we'll put the bands back on the arms. And then we're gonna go through and burn those shoulders and arms out so that you can have some big old cannonballs. Here we go, 15 seconds. Overhead press. Again, this is a complex. This is dangerous. This is complex. That's a fancy word for this is dangerous, so don't hurt yourself. So start light, guys. It took me a while to get to this point. When I was at my prime, in my 20s, I still didn't press this much over my head. It's taken a while. So get a good grip. Find your happy place on that knurling. Step underneath the bar. Get your abs, legs set, and up. Slight in those elbows and hold it there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your stomach tight, spine nice and braced. Don't arch your back. If you feel that anything else in the chain is losing it, get rid of the weight. Bring it down slow. I'm losing count on time here, so I'm just gonna slowly lower down. Uh, uh, uh. Make sure it's on there. Cool. All right. Grab the 30s. Curl it. Going to 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Ah. Whew. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when. I had that overhead press. I had to do a thruster to get it up there. So that's why it's important to get your shoulders, get your legs, get your abs, everything warmed up so that you can use your body to get that heavy weight where you want it to be. Something else is not warmed up along that chain. It's gonna break down over time. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be one of those nagging injuries. So play it smart, do it right. Okay, now we did overhead press, okay? So we wanna superset that. We can do legs. So trying to catch my breath, I'm just gonna do nice, easy, 
10 squats with a heel raise. All right, so squat, squat, you see me. Just like I'm jumping up, jumping up, jumping up. Okay, if your shoulders are tired, you can take your arms out of it. A little hop, never hurt nobody. All right, here we go. Moving and grooving, moving and grooving. Stay loose. Okay, so we're gonna do one more set. Actually, let's do two more sets. Let's do three today, because it's, I don't know what day it is. I feel like I'm in a groundhog day sometimes. All right, so that was about a minute rest. So, set number two, overhead isometric press. Ready? All right. Again, finding a comfortable grip position is key. I like to go with that little groove on my thumb right there, just below my thumb pads. Put that right on the edge of that knurling. All bars are different, so sometimes you need to adjust accordingly. I take my shoulders just a little bit wider Take my arms just a little bit wider on my shoulders. So when I'm overhead pressing, I'm right here, okay? Some people, you may be here, some people about wide. This is where you gotta kinda figure it out before you get to this point. That's why single arms are good, because you can figure out which is best for your shoulder. Sorry, I'm stalling. Here we go. Good grip. So get adjusted and the squat thrust to get it up. Thruster, squat. Thruster, three, four, five, six, seven. And while you're here, you can walk too if you want. That's a real killer. Doing single leg, balance, isometric. This is a little bit more. So just try to hold it. And then as your arms get tired, try to lower it down nice and slow. Oh. Oh. I don't know if that was 20 seconds or not, but arms are out of gas. Okay, I said arms, right? Arms and shoulders are connected to the tailbone. So we're gonna curl, press. Curl, press, down. So curl, press, down. Is that four? Losing count. Five. Six. Two more. Notice how, yes, I am using momentum with my body. That's okay. Try not to hurt my shoulders. Primary goal is to get it up and control it coming down. Okay. You can get to strict press where you just slowly press nice and smooth, or you can use your power. Use those hips, throw those hips up in the air. So best of both worlds. Okay. We still have those leg bands on. We're going to do one more set of this isometric shoulder, and then we're gonna put the armbands on, and we're gonna burn some stuff out. Okay, last one. Oh, Ooh, little jump squat. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Okay, gotta keep the legs in the game, man. That's how you burn calories. Pump those big muscles. Keep them up. Keep them up. Where are we out of time? Where are we out of time? Okay. Ah, almost done. Almost done. Here we go. Stalling again, right? This guy. Always trying to talk his way out of doing one more rep. One more stop. Catch your breath, boy. Here we go. Nice adjustment. 20 solid seconds. Over it. See where we go. And we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, That was a lot. So here we go. We're gonna get right to it. Release the band. Take the pressure out of the leg bands. We're going to those arm bands. And we're gonna finish this puppy 
Right off. Stay with me, guys. Leg bands off. Put those arm bands off. Come back to round three. We're going to finish this sucker. Say goodbye to them shoulders because they're going to be burning later.